السلام علیکم سر وعلیکم السلام و رحمت اللہ برکاتہ I am Taha Amanad from Pakistan I want to ask for a book Izar al-Haq which I want to read to gain some information Thank you Regarding the book Izar al-Haq This book Izar al-Haq was the book that changed the life of Sheikh Ahmed Didad the person who changed my life You know that I was, I was inspired by Sheikh Ahmed Didad and because of him that I changed from a doctor of a body to a doctor of a soul. And if you read the biography, or if you know the history of Sheikh Ahmed Didad, Sheikh Ahmed Didad was born in India. At a young age, he goes to, to South Africa. He only studied to standard six. He was working as a salesman in a furniture shop. And there, in South Africa, the Christian missionaries, they used to harass the Muslims. And they used to attack the Muslims, quoting the Quran and asking the questions from the Quran. And a lay or a common Muslim is not aware of it. So once Sheikh Ahmed Didad, he comes across a book by the name of Idhar al-Haq, which answered to the questions posed by Christian missionary. So this book Idhar al-Haq was written by Maulana Rahmatullah Karanvi originally in Arabic in 1864 in the 19th century Maulana Rahmatullah Karanvi from India he writes the book Idhar al-Haq in Arabic it's in six volumes and basically it replied to the attacks of Christian missionaries against Islam it mainly dealt with Christianity that how did the Christian missionaries attack Muslims how did they quote the Quran to misguide the Muslims they quoted the Hadith so this full book mainly is in reply to how to reply to the Christian missionaries who come and convert, who try to convert the Muslims to Christianity. And it's also a reply to a book by Karl Fender. Karl Fender was one of the most famous and well-known Christian missionary in the world of his time. In 19th century, he was the most famous Christian missionary to convert Muslims to Christianity. And Karl Fender was deputed to India, to Delhi and Agra. And he wrote a book, Mizan al-Haq. So in reply to even this book, Mona Hamadullah Karanvi, he wrote the book, Izar al-Haq, replying to him as well as the other allegations and the techniques of the Christian mission in trying to convert Muslims. And there was a debate that took place in the 19th century. And Paul, this... Karl Fender, he was very famous and very eloquent in debating the Muslims. And whenever he used to debate, he used to win. So it was Mullah Rahmatullah Quran who debated with, with him and he won the debate. And if you hear the talks of Sheikh Ahmed Didad, he has given a few, a few incidences of the debate. In the debate, in one of the debates, Karl Fender, Karl Fender while debating so a person comes and whispers in the ear of Maulana Rahmatullah Karanvi and Maulana Rahmatullah Karanvi his face becomes very sad and he is very sad so Karl Fender asks him Maulana Sahib what's the problem Maulana is very sad why are you so sad he said my secretary just came and told me that Archangel Gabriel died so, Karl Fender tried to laugh. He said, isn't it foolish? Do angels die? So, Mona Ahmadullah Karanvi said, for you when God can die, in, in, in Christianity, if God can die, why can't angels die? So, it was a battle of wits. So, like that, there are many incidences which is told by Sheikh Ahmed Didad in his talks. I'll just narrate one more incident that during the debate, Karl Fender, he asked Maulana Sahib, the Maulana Sahib, when, when the battle of Karbala was taking place, where was your prophet? Peace be upon him. Maulana Sahib, the, the, the prophet, he had died. 
during that time. So, so Carl Fenders, maybe he was sitting, he was close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, yes. He said, then when the battle takes place and when the enemy slay his grandson, Hussein, in the battlefield, where was the Prophet? So Manav said, the Prophet was with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Manav said, asked him, so then Paul Fender, Carl Fender, asked him that why didn't your Prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save his grandsons? So the Manav Sahib was silent. Then Carl Fender again insisted, why didn't your Prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to save his grandsons when they were being killed? So the Mona Sahib is silent and Carl Fender gets restless. Come on Mona Sahib, why don't you reply? Why didn't your Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him ask your Allah to save his grandsons? So Mona Sahib cried and he said that Allah replied when I cannot save my own son how will I save your grandson? So these debates are battle of wits. So Mawana Ahmedullah Karanvi, he gives them a taste of their own medicine. And when they say that Jesus Christ is supposed to be son of God, he died. So Almighty God replied, when I cannot save my own son, how will I save your grandson? So these type of replies are witty replies. It is normally when someone gives an illogical argument to you, says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, and he's not willing to listen. So what do you do? You say, okay, here take 200,000 rupees, 200,000 rupees, and give me 500,000 rupees. Or take 200,000 dollars, 200,000 dollars, now give me 500,000 dollars. And the man will say, no. So sometimes you have to agree with the false argument and win the battle. Like in judo, when you're doing martial arts, when someone tries and pushes you, you take a side step and use his force to throw him over. So this is mainly an a technique of debating, which Muhammadullah Karanvi, mashallah, was an expert, and so was Sheikh Ahmed Tidad. So, this book, Izarul Haq, was written by Malana Rahmatullah Karanvi in 1864, originally in Arabic in six volumes. And later on, it was translated into English. It was summarized and summarized in three volumes and translated into English, Urdu, Persian, and other languages. The Urdu translation was done by Mawlana Akbar Ali Khan and the preface was written by Mufti Taqi Usmani and later on Mawlana Ahmed Allah Karanvi he goes to Makkah and he was also appointed as a khatib in Makkah he used to give lecture in Makkah and then he formed a madrasa which is even today existing called as Madrasa Saulatia and even I've been there it's a madrasa you know where he used to train the people how to reply and in this book is Arul Haq he used the arguments of the earlier polemics, like a Tabri, uh, 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 Ibn Hazm, Sheikh al Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah. So he used the argument, and you know that the Ibn Hazm and Sheikh al Islam, Ibn Taymiyyah, they were expert. And Sheikh al Islam, if you read his books on Christianity, they are excellent. The way his argument against the Christian missionary is excellent. So Izar ul Haq. In that, you find Muhammad Ahmedullah Karanvi has picked up many of their stuff and he added in his book. That's the reason his book is, mashallah, very good. And for a dai, especially who wants to dawa to the Christian missionary, this book should be read. You can surely Google and you'll find the English translation or the Urdu translation. It's available in India and Pakistan and other, it's also available in UK and other countries. So this book is Arul Haq in English language, it's in three volumes. The name is The Truth Revealed. I hope that answers the question.